Hey my loves, this is a beginner's um, custom unit tutorial. So if you don't want to watch this lengthy video, do click off of it. So let's get started. First you will need your hair, your spandex dome cap, your T-pins, some nylon thread. I prefer nylon thread over cotton thread, your scissors, a clip, and your mannequin head. Um, my mannequin head, if you notice that I have duct tape and magazines on her head, it's because um, I use her to size another unit. And um, eventually, um, you're going to see, I'm going to remove that off because I am going to fold the edges of my unit. I saw in the video where it fits tighter that way. So, yeah. Um, here, I'm just showing you how I pinned my closure. I pinned down all four corners tightly with my T-pins. And um, if you are using a front sole, you want to pin the middle um, of your front sole across from the middle of your front sole your, and all four corners, basically. So, yeah. And I'm just showing you where I place my pins at. So, um, here you're going to see me starting to sew down my closure. Um, I went across the back of my closure first. And then I'm going to go down the sides of my closure. You do not want to sew in the seams. Do not sew in the seams of your cap because it will not stretch. It will be too tight. And it would not give on when you go to put it on. These dome caps stretch like pretty tight. And um, the method that I've seen um, with folding the brim of the cap really does work. Basically, when you do that, um, if you are a custom wig maker like myself, you don't have to worry about it fitting your client's head. It pretty much fits any type of head this way. So, yeah. So I am just sewing my closure down and I'm going across the back of it and I'm going to go down each side. And with your closure, you are going through the um the net this is a self-based closure but um you're going through and you can see how much net i mean how much lace of this closure i'm going through and um you want to um with your closure you want to sew it as close together as possible and yeah and y'all, if I sound crazy, it's because um, y'all know that mess, that allergy mess that's going around. It's ridiculous, y'all. So, yeah. And I was hoping I didn't get sick because my 10-year-old was the first, well, no, my fiance was the first one to get sick. And then my 10-year-old. And then my 6-year-old, she sounded like she wanted to get a little stuffy, but... Uh, it didn't happen, and now I feel kind of crazy. I'm like, I don't have time for that. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I finished the back portion of my closure. And um, when you close it off, you want to wrap it two to three times to make sure that it's tight and secure. And FYI, the nylon thread doesn't not like the cotton thread. And it's easier to get it unknotted when it does knot up. So now I'm about to start on one of the sides of my closure. And I am going down. Um, it may appear in some instances in this video maybe that I am near that I'm... Um, maybe on the scene but i'm not trust me when i tell you i'm just very very close to the scene and i'm showing you here when you first begin 
someone you want to take your needle um, once you put it through the closure take it and put it through the end of your thread and then pull it that really really makes sure makes sure that you're um, not your initial your first knot is secure where your closure doesn't move so um, I finish that side of my closure and I finish that side of my closure so this is some good stuff this is the curl renew um, milk spray from um, Gagne fruit trees I received this um, from Ipsy, I used my points to get this, and y'all, this stuff is the truth. I used it on a client's hair with a shortcut because she has had natural curly hair, and this was my first time using it on my um, this hair. And FYI, this is Malaysian Deep Wave. Um, this hair, this is my, I want to say this is maybe my third time using this hair. So yeah, um, first couple of times I wore it to sew in, and this time I said, well, I just want to put it on a unit. So um, we'll make a unit out of it. So um, I'm just putting it on there and brushing it through to see how it made my hair feel. As you can see, it looks it looks gorgeous. Um, so yeah. Um, if you see like the very front lifting up, it's because beneath the um, closure, you do not want to sew. You don't want to sew the front of it or anything. So yeah, um, this portion I have already sewn. So I'm just showing you how it's sewn. Now I'm beginning to show you how I actually sew. Um, my tracks onto my unit um you want to go under your tracks you do not want to sew through your tracks because it won't lay as flat and then it saves your hair from being um it just saves time and it saves your hair from um being messed up or whatever because um this type of hair lasts one to two years with proper care um when you sew you do not want to sew through the seam of the cap which is that long line you see going down the top of the head you have two on each side so you do not want to sew through that if you do your cap will not stretch because it will be so tight it's not going to stretch. It's going to be too small for your head. And it's not going to work. So yeah. Um, I'm just sewing. And also. Um, you, this just slows. Um, slows up. I mean passes time by. It's not as slow versus. When you have to go through the tracks. Um, if you're using just regular human hair, then there's really nothing wrong with going through the tracks hey, to each his own. If you're using virgin hair, if you choose to go through your tracks, then to each his own. But I'm just letting you know the benefits of going beneath the tracks. So, yeah. And then, um, nylon thread is very stretchy and durable it's way stretchier and way durable more durable than the cotton thread and as you can see i'm showing you how i am going beneath the track and i'm just going to sew this all the way over to the very um end like the top of the um elastic and I just was sewing right on the very corner of the elastic. Not in the middle, but right on the very corners. Um, I knot, knot it two to three times when I begin or when I end. And this just makes sure that the track is secure and doesn't slip. Because, honey, we don't want any track slipping. <laughs> so, yeah. Um... Next, I'm just getting ready to go the opposite direction. And you want to um, just make sure when you're sewing, 
kind of okay how can i explain this you want the thread to be kind of ahead of where you're gonna sew so it's kind of like automatically making a loop so um you just want it ahead and it's you kind of like stretch it forward as you can see it's kind of like a loop and i'm going inside of the loop and under the track and just pulling it through so yeah and i'm just showing you how not to go through that track because we want our tracks to lay flat Throwing, throwing, throwing. And I'm going to skip over where I did skip over. So now um, I am closer to the center here. Um, I am laying my tracks straight across now. And then um, I'm just laying, laying them straight across, straight across, straight across until I get tight to that closure um you basically want to lay all of your tracks going into a u until you have some space um in the top probably like um uh, let me see maybe anywhere from probably like five inches of space i want to say about five inches of space from your um five or six inches of space from your closure, yes, when you want to start laying your tracks straight across close together. Until then, you want to lay them in a U shape. A U shape. And like I said, with the brim of your of your um, dome cap, you want to sew the tracks. Um, after you saw me sew that last track, until you get to probably like over top of your ear, you want to sew the tracks to the back of the brim like I showed you. Once you get above that, that, that last track on the top of your ear, that's when you want to start sewing on the front brim of the track. I mean, uh, of the dome cap. So, yeah. And I will have, this won't be my one and only um, wig uh tutorial i will definitely have more coming up so do look for those um yeah i do have a couple of wigs that i have made myself um wigs just they're just so convenient and i'm still sewing the same way i'm just um you basically want to begin your track on top of one of the tracks that you laid before you started laying your tracks straight across you want to begin your track right on top of it on on the weft of the u track if that makes sense we're gonna the tracks that we laid before these were called u tracks so the u tracks you want to lay these straight across tracks the beginning right on the weft of the u track you want to start it there and you want to end it there and you're sewing the same way and you're sewing them very very close together so when you finish it won't be gappy you want your tracks close together because it allows no space in between I don't me personally I don't like my track spacing I can't stand it I can't stand to see it so yeah and um, FYI the T pins I purchased right from Dollar Tree I was so excited when I saw Dollar Tree sold T pins I had no idea that they um, sold T pins because I hear so many people talking about purchasing them from the beauty supply store so yes, my local Dollar Tree sold the tea pans. I wish they probably were probably gonna be like two dollars in the hair store, two to three dollars. So yeah. So I'm just as you can see, I'm making sure that it is super tight. And I was cutting my tracks. 
some uh, people do not believe in cutting tracks. I know how to sew with or without cutting my tracks. But, hey, sometimes if you want your unit to be super flat, cut them tracks, baby. So, yeah. Um, my center is done. And I'm just letting her down. And as you can see, she is very full. No spaces. Just the way, just the way I like my units, my sew-ins. So yeah. And like I said, this is a silk-based closure. This is the Malaysian Deep Wave. And I used one closure and four bundles. Well, you know what? Actually, four bundles did not fit on this mannequin head, and it was super full. So. It was kind of like um, three, I would say about three bundles. So look at that part in space. Look at the center. You don't see any tracks, no tracks. And I'm taking out my T-pins because you do want to um, pin the entire dome cap to um, the mannequin head. Just make sure that you do, you're not sewing down the T-pins because that you don't you would hate that you would have to cut a whole piece of thread to get that pin out honey and we don't want to do that <laughs> so yeah i'm just taking those pins out and these mannequin heads can be found at your local beauty supply store so i'm just showing you the inside of my cap nice and neat now this access dome cap spandex you want to cut you see that u shape y'all you want to cut cut within that U shape without cutting your closure or your frontal and without cutting your thread because the thread will release the closure. So you don't want to cut the thread, you just want to cut all this excess cap off. And this will make your scalp visible beneath this closure. So yeah. And you know it would be more space if it was a frontal, but to cut out. So yeah, anytime you apply a frontal or a closure, you always want to leave the lace exposed. You don't want to sew down the lace, except for the edges and the back. I mean the sides and the back. So yeah. So I cut all that off and she's basically all done and gorgeous. And I hope you love this and enjoy this video. Um, if you want more videos like this, just comment down below and I will try to do more of these um, videos for you all. It did take some time, but I am willing to do, do them because I do. Y'all know I love hair, so yeah. And if you're interested in a custom unit, if you're interested in version hair, just contact me i also have handbags go follow me on um instagram at high commodity hair um follow me on facebook unique dudes by sierra um high commodity high commodity boutique hair on facebook also follow me up follow me on twitter love live life four at v roman numeral four and on Instagram, Love Live Life 4. I will have all that stuff down below in the description box. Um, do check out my Maven store. I am a Maven hair distributor now. So yeah, that is the end of this video. I hope you loved and enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.